Hello and welcome back to Element 14 Presents. My name's Caleb. In this episode, I'm going to build a control panel for my new laser cutter. The problem that I have is that every time I want to use the laser, I have to turn the machine power on, walk over to where the water chiller is, flip that on, crawl behind my desk, plug in the air assist pump, and the exhaust fan. It's just inconvenient. My solution to this problem is to build a control panel that has toggle switches on it that control relays to turn everything off and on from one convenient spot. I also thought it would be a great idea to add a couple of sensors. One for water flow and another one for air pressure. That'll give me some positive feedback on the panel itself with some lights that are red or green depending on if there's water flow and air pressure. And that's just the panel part. I also have to build a power distribution box that has all the solid state relays and receptacles in it. All of the high voltage will stay in that box. It's connected to the panel via Cat5 cables that just carry logic from the Arduino to the solid state relays and the sensors. Remember, all the code, CAD files, and STL files are available on the Element 14 page for this project. Let's take a look at the design and see what I'm up against. Amazing hacks, inspired designs. Each week, Element 14 Presents brings you innovative projects using electronics, engineering, and more. I'm gonna have some fun with the design on this one. I'm gonna do something that I haven't done in a very long time and something that I've never done before, which is acrylic bending and sheet metal forming. The laser that I just bought is blue and white. It's similar to the old NASA color scheme. The first cut I did on this was some reddish acrylic that I had and I cut out the old NASA worm logo and stuck it on the front. It looks pretty cool. With that in mind, I thought it would be awesome to keep the theme of this build in the 1970s NASA style. I did a quick mock-up of the laser cutter parts that we're going to be working around to have accurate dimensions and to be able to design around it. It's a couple of buttons, the control panel. Here is the face plate. It's going to be made out of three millimeter acrylic and I'm going to do these bends on an acrylic bender that I made many many years ago and see if it still works. That should be pretty fun. All the circular holes are for switches. There's eight switches that go to eight relays in the power box. This switch up here is to control the power to the Arduino, in effect, turning the whole system on or off. This switch is for the red dot laser that is on the cut head. All the rectangles here are for the lights that I wanted. I tried to buy them, but I couldn't find them anywhere. And I had to design them and make them, which took a little bit more time, but they're pretty cool. I like them anyways. It's a little box down here that's gonna have an addressable RGB LED down at the bottom that will shine either red or green up to a white piece of paper with text printed on it. And it's far enough away to have enough diffusion so you won't see the actual pixel in there when it's illuminating. There's also some handles on here to protect the switches and give it a little bit more of that aesthetic. This rectangular hole here is where the current meter goes. The last part is the Cat5 connection, and I had to make a little bracket, two connectors that will route down through the laser and down to the power box, which is this part. This is gonna be made out of sheet metal. I've never done this before. I have access to a sheet metal shop, and I'm gonna give it a try, so that will be interesting. It's got quarter inch acrylic top plate, cut out for all the NEMA plugs and the CAT5 connections over here. There's two for connecting to the panel and one each for sensors. Got eight NEMA plugs in it so we can plug stuff in and those will go to the solid state relays. Got a bunch of 10 amps and some 25 amps in there as well. Well, that's that. Let's have a look at all the parts. First up, I'm going to use the Arduino 2560 Mega since it's got plenty of I.O. ports and I needed 16 just for the relays and the switches. For the switches to control the relays, I'm going to use these big Multicomp Pro panel mount single pole single throw toggle switches. They're way overkill for what I needed, but they look great and they feel great. I also have a couple of smaller toggle switches for controlling the power to the Arduino and the red dot laser pointer 
that is attached to the cut head on the laser cutter. I'm using two different types of solid state relays in this project. Both are multi-comp pro, both are zero crossing, but one of them's 10 amps and the other one is 25 amps. I'm gonna run two circuits into this thing at 30 amps to handle whatever kind of load I'm gonna need. The power receptacles are NEMA 515R 15 amp panel mount snap-in connectors. They have blade connectors on them to make it really easy for me to hook up all of the wiring. I found these really cool round three inch chromed steel handles on element 14. They're gonna make the perfect addition for the aesthetic on this build. They're also gonna help protect the toggle switches and look really cool. To detect water flow from the water chiller, I'm gonna use this half inch Hall Effect flow sensor that is rated for 30 liters per minute. I had to go with this bigger one because the smaller ones just wouldn't handle the throughput from the water chiller to the laser tube. For air pressure, I have a 100 PSI pressure transducer. I'll never get to that kind of pressure in this system, but it operates from zero to 100 PSI and that will be plenty. And a bunch of Cat5 jacks that will allow me to connect the panel to the power distribution unit as well as connect the sensors to the unit easily. Hi, I'm David from Element 14 to the Electronics Inside. Join me as I tear down toys, tools, appliances, modern, vintage, classics, and even some new releases just to find out what's inside. Let's take a quick stroll through the code that's running on the Arduino. It's pretty simple and we'll go through it quick. We're using a library from Adafruit to drive the NeoPixels and a couple of my own libraries that I've modified for use in this project. The pressure transducer, all we're really using is the git PSI that just reads in, sends a value back. And in the relay, we send in the NeoPixel object and everything happens in the update method here. There's a bunch of other utility functions here, but we're not really using them. If it detects that the switch is on, it sends the signal to the relay and sets the light to the corresponding color. Back to the main sketch, we've got our defines, instantiations, one for the lights, the pressure transducer object, and a separate object for each one of the relays. Some global variables, some basic setup stuff, lights, flow sensor stuff, it's interrupt based, and here's the main loop. The water flow timer is checking that every quarter of a second. The pulse count equals zero, no water's flowing. Set that color to red. If it's above the flow threshold, which I think is four or something, I don't know what it is, I'm not doing any math on that pulse count, it's just the straight pulse count out of the water flow. Then it sets it to green because water is flowing through the thing. Reattach the interrupt and move on. Doing the similar thing with the air pressure. We get the PSI. If PSI is less than one, we set it to red. No air. If PSI is above the threshold, then we set it to green. Awesome. And here's where all those updates happen for the relays. And that's it for the code. It's pretty simple. You can find a link to this code on the Element 14 page for this project. And there's a link in the description below to get to that page.
Here's a bit of a close up of the business end of this thing. This is the power strip part of the project with all the solid state relays in it. I'll flip them on one at a time so you can see the LEDs come on. There's machine power, water chiller, air assist, exhaust fan, computer control, auxiliary one, two, and three. Now we can get it all hooked up, give this thing a shot, and I'll give you the full demo. All right, here we are. Everything is done, installed, it works, and I love it when everything works. We're gonna go through everything and turn everything on, and you'll see how it all works from there. First thing is this power switch, which just turns on the Arduino. It's just an interrupt to the power on that. Flip it on, red all across the board. What that means is that for the relays, there's no power to the relays. On the two sensors, there's no air pressure and there is no water flow. First thing, we gotta turn on the machine power, which is the laser cutter itself. It's gonna make a horrible noise until we turn on the water chiller, so I'll do that right after that so we don't have to listen to it anymore. Here goes machine power. There's the horrible noise. Water chiller on. Detected water flow, the alarm shuts off. And I positioned it there so you can see what this next toggle switch does. That says dot. This is the little laser diode that is mounted to the laser cut head. It was mounted on the machine itself, a switch for that. I rerouted it up here. Flip that on, you should be able to see it in the bottom corner. There it is, kind of down here somewhere. Uh, next thing is air assist. That is going to trigger air pressure. It's just a little pump in the back. Flip that on. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can, and air pressure came on. The next thing is the exhaust fan, but we'll save that for last because it's so loud you won't be able to hear me and we'll just turn it on for a minute. Down here to control computer, flip that on. That will allow me to manually turn on the computer that's right over here that controls the whole thing. This module was mounted in the laser cutter itself right around here and it's just connected via ethernet and I moved it up here. We'll turn on the laser power so you can see that and that displays the current output from the laser tube itself. And last thing, exhaust fan on. And that's everything, it is ready to go. We'll turn that off so you can hear me again and to shut everything down, just kind of go in reverse. Turn off the air assist, air pressure gone, water chiller. Takes a second for the thing to stop machine power off and manually shut down the computer. And in hindsight, if I would have thought about it, I would have added a feature to remotely shut down the computer like a uh, un uninterruptible power supply can do. But I didn't think about it, it's not there. So I'm gonna live with manually shutting down the computer. Last thing, control computer off, turn off main power and the laser dot, all done, awesome. That's all we have for today. I really like the way that this thing turned out and I love the way that it looks. If I would have thought about it sooner, I would have tried to figure out a way to send a signal to the PC from an Arduino over USB to shut it down automatically. I'm not even sure if that can be done. Do you know how to do it? If you do, let us know on the Element 14 community at element14.com presents. We'll see you next time and until then, keep making.